Describe experiments to show how electric charges can be produced and how they can be detected. Now really what we're talking about here is creating an electrical charge imbalance by making electrons move from one material to another. So one of the ways of doing that is to use friction. So number one, we can say use friction to make electrons move from one material to another. So let's get hold of some uh, plastic called Perspex. This is a Perspex rod. Perspex rod and if we have a, a cloth we can move that cloth backwards and forwards and what will happen here is that electrons will tend to move from the perspex rod over to the the cloth and that will create an imbalance of charge we'll have more electrons on the cloth than we would on the perspex and these electrons are leaving behind the atoms from where they came and so those atoms would now have a positive charge and so we've created an electrical imbalance we've created a charge we've charged up the perspex rod with a positive charge so positively positive charge if you were to get another type of plastic, let's say some polythene, a polythene strip, polythene rod or strip, and do exactly the same thing. Get a, a cloth and move it, rub it up and down on the polythene rod. And again, what happens here is that the materials are slightly different. The interface is slightly different. And so the electrons are actually moved from the cloth to the polythene rod. And that leaves behind the positively charged atoms, which are stuck in place. Remember, the atoms cannot move, but the electrons can move to a certain degree. And so we've positively charged the cloth this time and negatively charged the polythene rod. So let's just pop that in there as a negatively charged. So these are insulators. So the electrons cannot move freely. They can only move to a limited amount to the surface, really, of the of the materials. Well, number two, what about a way of detecting electrical charge? So electrical charges such as negatively charged polythene rods or positively charged cloths can be detected using a gold leaf electroscope which is a very fancy name and let's see if I can show you what it looks like so you have a case and let's get rid of that we have a, a metal top plate and that metal has a kind of stem which goes into the into the casing and we have a gold leaf which is attached to the to the stem now what we find is if we were to bring a remember that cloth remember that it was uh, on one of those situations it was positively charged in the polythene case well we've got positive charges on the underside of the cloth if we bring it near to this electroscope then what do you think all the electrons in this stem and this metal stem will do so this is a metal stem well they want to be attracted to positive things so they will tend to move to the top plate 
So that's a top metal plate. And that will leave behind the atoms of the metal stem, which are positively charged ions, so they can't move. And so the metal stem becomes positively charged, as does the gold leaf. And what do you know about like charges? Well, they repel. So the gold leaf will repel. And this enables us to detect an electrical charge such as that on the, on the cloth. Now, the opposite thing would happen if the cloth was negatively charged. The electrons would be repelled to the base of the stem and into the gold leaf. And the same thing would happen. The gold leaf would rise because it's being repelled, because like charges repel. Like charges repel. Now, this effect is called charging by induction. Charging by induction. And it's, it's kind of similar to magnetism by induction in that you just bring the cloth near and that makes electrons either get attracted to the positive cloth or if it was a negative cloth they'll be repelled. So there are two experiments you can describe to produce electric charge by using friction and detect electric charge by using a gold leaf electroscope. And please remember that the atoms cannot move. It's the inner solid, it's the electrons which can move about or be um, transferred from one material to the other via friction.